Hey there, if you're looking for a fun and easy way to earn rewards, including cash and prizes, check out the link in the video description. A missing teenager left a note telling her mother, this will be the last time you'll hear from me for a very long time, then vanished. Geneva Hodge, 17, ran away from her home in Belleville, Texas, sometime on Wednesday morning and left the handwritten note on her pillow. Her mother, Frances Schrader, discovered the note that morning and has not heard from Geneva since and fears she has been kidnapped. I am completely heartbroken. The day she went missing I couldn't breathe. It felt like my heart was ripped out of my chest. I miss my baby so much, she said. Schrader shared the note with DailyMail.com and said it sounded nothing like her daughter, who was excited for her senior year of school. Dear Mom, I love you a lot and I know me leaving is going to kill you. I'm alright. It was nobody's decision but my own, it read. I'm going to do online schooling and finish everything. I'm with some people that I trust very much. I'm always going to be your little girl. I've grown up and became this amazing young lady. Just remember mom, I love you so much. This is goodbye for a long time. I'm sorry. Bye mom, I love you. Love, Geneva. Schrader said the note contained spelling mistakes despite her being a good student, meaning it was written in a hurry. It's not my daughter. She just got color guard captain for her senior year. She made as and BS at school even with her learning disability, she said. It may have been her handwriting on the note, but the words were not her. Schrader said her daughter was a good kid who had never done anything like this before, and she has a bad feeling about what happened to her. Schrader said Geneva Factory reset her phone, took the SIM card out, put it in a different phone case and hid it in a drawer with other old phones. Geneva also left without any clothes, medicine, her asthma puffer, or even a toothbrush, and her debit card hadn't been used since she disappeared. Schrader told DailyMail.com the teenager was spotted with an older man about 26 miles away in Brookshire, Texas, about 8 to 8.30 a.m. on Wednesday. I'm so scared she's been kidnapped. I think he talked her into leaving with him, she said. Schrader explained that the owner of DLUX Donuts on the corner of Baines and S Front Streets said the man arrived with Geneva in a white Honda Civic. He was aged 30 to 40, about 5 feet, 10 inches to 6 foot tall, skinny and dirty looking with glasses, the witness said. Geneva's grandmother Teresa Williams said the man was rubbing her back and touching her bottom and she looked uncomfortable. Police are still confirming the girl was Geneva, but the witness identified the missing teenager from a photograph. Schrader said. Geneva went to work at her local Brookshire Brothers as normal on Tuesday and was seen speaking to a teenage boy in his truck on her lunch break. Schrader said the pair were just friends and police had interviewed the young man and cleared him of any involvement in Geneva's disappearance. Her mother picked her up from work and the family went to bed about 10.30 p.m. and Schrader and her husband, Kelly, went to work the next morning. Schrader went home for lunch about 11 a.m. and discovered Geneva's note when she went into her room to check on her. She said Geneva must have left even before her husband got up about 5.30 a.m.